Yeah. Welcome back to Mining Episode 10. Where we left off, I was left with an absolutely brutal Reborn price. And I'm just gonna have to work around that today. So we shall start off with a Reborn and get nothing. So here was the setup I was using in order to get money beforehand. As you can tell, since the Reborn price, it's not as Reborn anymore. So let's fix that. So remember those things I initially took out of the setup just to make it faster? Well, now it's time to re-add them and see how that works out for us. Actually, I could turn that into a Super Schrodinger right now. That might not be a horrible idea. Or would it be? For now, I'm not going to do it, but we'll see. And I don't know. I'd say this right here, looking pretty good. So we'll see how this works out for now. We'll save it and continue our journey. Now we're going to start getting Life 500 Reborn items, which includes the Dragon Blaster. So I am looking forward to that. But for now, we're going to press on, knowing that most of the items we get will not be helpful for us. At all. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do a few Reborns real quick, and I'll report back to you. Frigid Dystopia, huh? The first of our Life 500 Reborns. Now, I know this... As far as I know, this doesn't work directly like a normal upgrader. Yeah, no, it doesn't. I'll look into it later. Man, if an ore immediately survives, it is so quick. Oh, that is not common. I would have rather had a Dragon Blaster. Life 600. What did we accomplish in 100 lives? Well, a higher Reborn price to start. I believe I have enough to evolve the Wild Spore, the Tesla, and the Astral Predictor now. So, I'm going to go investigate. Tesla, done. Predictor, done. I'll even get that, why not? Okay, we're now going to add the Astral Setter, which I didn't realize until now is actually wider. Okay. Alright, I added the Astral Setter, but I just have a strong resistance to adding upgraders unless I need to. And now suddenly my setup decided it wanted to check out. I can at least roll with this until, what, life 1000? As long as I just keep adding big bad blasters when I need to. And those, maybe. Maybe I should try and get a true overlord device. You know, I might try it, but I'm gonna wait until I get a slipstream that would be a very big help in doing that. Looks pretty good to me. But I also know this has a chance to make the ore stinky. Yep. So what if I used this to my advantage real quick? Why does this thing exist? This feels like it's a free way of getting an Overlord device. Most of them are probably going to be bad. But if we just send enough Schrodingers and flaming, uh, Big Bad Blasters through, I feel like we can get something good here. Now, I could have added more, but I just feel like this will be enough. Even though the majority of the ores are just in the conveyor right now. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I, you know what? I forgot about that part where the ores just disappear. Oh, there is one. And it's worthless. I got an Overlord device that time even though it didn't skip. I just decided the ore, it was just simply going to keep killing my ores for some reason. So, I'll get that later. The regular one isn't even worth using. So now the objective is to simply rebirth a lot more and see if we get anything that can help us money max. Can you feel it? This energy. This is not somewhere that you want to stay at for long. How much value would these ores have if I just halved the Big Bad Blaster amount? Almost not enough, so maybe I should keep that. Status update for life 700. Absolutely nothing except my reborn price has changed. I guess I technically lied. Here's the evolved banana sundae refiner. I'm gonna trial run this real quick and see how it does. It worked. Woo, life 800. Yeah. I did it. Yeah. Thank you. 
I just sat here and just absolutely raw dogged over 300 rebirths without moving an inch. And was it worth it? <laughs> well, we're life 1000 now, and while nothing immediately changes, we do have a lot more opportunities opened for us now. For instance, we can get the red giant now. That will be slightly helpful, probably, when I get it. So I can get a true overlord device without it, but with it, it's pretty much free. And a couple of other items that are slightly less useful. But another thing that opens up, I believe, is superstitious items now. And that is a whole nother can of worms. And the best items that I can get my stubby, greasy little hands on. So I guess I'll go take a peek real quick. Bask into the world of black, and then find yourself in a room full of mushrooms. And then you see the light. Yo, what up, man? Oh, okay, thanks for all this word salad. You, that, you cannot read that fast enough. So let's see what I have. 11 Newtonium Mines, 28 Big Bad Blasters, the arsenal's growing nice. 4 Dragon Blasters now, that's also really nice. I have an absolutely disgusting amount of Yunium Mines, considering I have two mines that require multiple of them. A disgusting amount of Morning Stars, a disgusting amount of Dreamer's Mites, really just most Furnaces. Including the Sage Redeemer. I could probably get the Sage King now, but it's still worse than the Furnace I'm using. The Dreamer's Valor, I'm pretty sure, is still worse than the Furnace I'm using. Or Skillet. I don't even know why you would use that. I'm gonna go check it out real quick and see what I need for some enchantments. Alright, so for the Angel's Blessing, I need a Sword God Shrine, which I actually have. Dragon Glass Blaster, which I have zero of. Final Eclipse Gate, which I have one of. Swift Justice, which I have none of. That's actually not very much. Alright, got the Swift Justice. I'm almost able to get another final Eclipse Gate. Oh, so this this is gonna be the pain in the ass. Alright, well I'm still not very close to any enchantments, sadly. Seems like the one I'm closest to might actually be the Angel's Blessing, at least on paper. So as of this exact moment, this is my setup. It's not that much different from the previous setup, other than the fact that Dragon Blasters replace the Big Bad Blasters, and I have a Quantum Clockwork on each side now, and a Banana Sunday Refiner. The Super Schrodinger is now here instead of regular Flaming Schrodingers, and this right now is giving me more or less just enough. So pretty soon here, this will have to be changed, because it actually takes a hot second. Sometimes to get what I need In fact, I might just want to do that now. Well zoinks. How do I go about changing this? I added one singular upgrader fixed You know what we don't have enough massive diamond mines, so I need to readjust this again This is also just a good visualization of how many of these I've gotten that could have been more helpful items instead Red giant baby here is the start of some good things. So I think my objective right now is to get another red giant and a good slipstream item and just get a free true overlord device real quick. How good is the evolved scorpion mine? I'm just gonna double check because I have, I probably have enough to get it. This will be the world's most useless evolution. Thank you. Okay, so this thing I got 3,000 years ago. What's its value right now? Eight trillion, isn't it? One quadrillion. It's one quadrillion. All right, let's see what this produces. 100 billion, 200. Oh, wow, that is great. Good job, champ. I mean, I can't deny it is better than the regular Scorpion mine, but the problem was it went from being absolutely useless to very bad instead. The only time a Scorpion mine is good is if you've went 30 of your first rebirths without getting a single reborn mine, and that's just the first one they happen to give you. Am I speaking from experience? <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, stinky! We now get bad furnaces at Life 1000. I forgot about this. And now I will continue to forget about it. That is a great slipstream if I had a second red giant there. Combustion engine. Wow. Let's try it. Wow. That's very good. I will never use it. An absolute tragedy befelled all of us. For some reason, my recorder just at some point decided... Oh, excuse me real quick. My recorder at some point just decided, you know what? No, I'm done. And you all missed it. I learned about the actual beauty of this thing. And that it's not useless. And how it's essentially a early game railgun cannon before you can get them. And that's pretty cool. You just have to feed it some coal. So I decided to put it here in my setup, since it wouldn't be as useful down here. And it actually made quite a big difference. But don't worry, in terms of the reborn items I've been getting, you haven't missed anything at all. I have yet to get a second red giant. And this is a new reborn item too. This was added fairly recently. Now, of course, fairly recently in Miner's Haven standards is six months ago. I am now 1.1 thousand and I have yet to get a red giant. Again. I just didn't want to go through the painful process of having just one of those, but instead I will get more nature's grips and massive diamond mines so I can continue my monopoly on them. And the shard park, which is only useful if you have an absolute ton of shards. And I have a zero. You can still get the morning star. I don't want this crusty thing anymore. You know, I didn't realize till now, I literally could have just read the description of the combustion engine and it would have told me absolutely everything I needed to know about it. But reading in 2024, it's not easy. I guess I'm just gonna try this with one red giant because after 150 more rebirths, the game is just absolutely dead set on not giving me anymore. And you see this beauty right here? Both of these ores are landing perfectly to fall off of the conveyor. The ultimate turbo wumbo setup. It's finally time to see if this will be enough. Just in case, I will only send a small amount. Here comes the first batch. They're still alive right now, baby! Come on, give me the money! Give me the money! Wait, did I already get enough? Oh, I already... I think I already got enough. Yeah, I, I well, I well got enough. <laughs> I got enough before it even hit. The, oh, okay. Alright, well. Objective complete. Look, I got my true overlord device. I guess I forgot cash suffixes, because <laughs> for some reason I thought I was cutting it close. That is a beautiful multiplier. Alright, time to add it. I guess I'll replace uh, the Super Schrodinger with it. Oh, cool. It's one singular unit longer. So I have to move everything. Although I'm pretty sure they have to hit that tiny, minute part in order for it to even matter. So I'm actually going to switch these out. So they're more consistently in the center before they get blown to shreds. And there we go. There's my brand new 1000 life setup. Now I just have to do this four more days in a row in order to have one of the ingredients for a enchanted item. Oh, there's- Oh! There's that red giant I've been waiting for! Thanks, champ, for showing up the second I don't need you. You're joking. Where were you for the last 160 lives? Alright, everybody. I guess the objective of today was to get a true overlord device, and that was a painfully easy objective once I got the right items. Enchanted items are still quite a ways away because I am life 1000 and don't have that many items yet. So the next time you see me, I will be quite a bit a higher life than what I am right now. I'm gonna do a little bit of mining off camera. So until then, I will get to work on this slot, 
And I will see you sometime later, my friends. Well, this time I don't really have any dramatic outro, so I guess I'll just end the video. By the way, I still really haven't gotten any good items. Yeah.